So, um, I recently bought this Trixie's um, 10 meter USB active extension cable and I have to say that's one of the biggest pieces of crap I've ever bought in a while. Um, when I plug stuff into it, uh, it comes up uh, device not recognised at times and you have to unplug the cable and plug it in again. It seems to work okay with things like mice and memory sticks but when I plug my software defined radio into it, it just will not work at all. So, on taking apart the end, the USB shield here is not even soldered on. So that just wobbles around. And the solder quality isn't that great, but it shouldn't really impact the performance too much at all. So what I'm going to do is I reckon the reason it's not working with a software defined radio is because of voltage drop. So what I'm going to do is, I've noticed that there's two very small solder pads up here. I could solder a 5 volt power supply onto there, which would run off a separate battery probably. It's a switching regulator. A linear one would be ideal because you get less noise with those, but uh, I'll use a 5 volt switching one. And that should hopefully remove the voltage drop issue and it should hopefully work. The way these cables work is normally it's just a USB hub chip that's in here. I don't know how a USB hub can act as an active repeater but it just does so that's how that works. So it came from the seller Digiflex and that's just a plastic case that goes on the end but uh, I'll get the power supply soldered on there just now and I'll solder the metal shield there on correctly although then again with software defined radios in some cases they work better without the shield actually connected because the cable itself can actually act as an antenna and pick up unwanted signals so I'll try it with and without and see what it does to the noise floor after much playing about with voltages I've just set it to 5.2 volts, well 5.19 actually, and uh, this is just the battery powering it. And here it is picking up strong Tetra signals in the area. And that is working really well, um, just with a standard USB cable, just at the window there's a lot, of, a, a lot of noise, and that was coming off a computer power supply, so... Um, with this being very far away and the ground disconnected, I think that's helping a lot. I'm thinking of what I'll do now is um, get my weather satellite antenna and stick it to the fence out there and somehow connect this up so I can comfortably receive weather satellites without having to go out, well, having to go outside. The only thing is I'll have to waterproof this somehow. Maybe just put it inside the mast, I don't know. So it seems to have sorted itself out now, if you're using a long USB cable, you're going to need an external power supply.